It watched her, stalked her like a cheetah with a prey in sight. This predator was irregular. It didn't scrape and bite. It had no claws. It was no jaws. It wasn't great and white. She couldn't see it, but she could feel its presence. So she was aware, like having great in sight. She tried to ignore it, but it flourished feeding off of her. She was losing herself, like it was taking pieces off of her. She couldn't sleep. There was no peace to offer her because once its teeth sank deep, it wanted all of her. It made her life seem as dim as Hollister. She couldn't see the light. Her friends said that she just needs some space. Don't bother her, she'll be all right. She hid behind the smiles and the laughter. It was her way of masking it. She mastered it, but she still weeped at night. See, this, this is what happens when depression sets in, trying to seize your life. We've all felt it, some more than others, and we know how deadly it can be. Some are still mourning others, but for her, she knew people loved her. She just couldn't feel it. And the pain that she felt, she didn't know how to deal with, so she concealed it. Thoughts of suicide consumed her mind to the point it made real sense. See, she wanted to escape life through death, since life is what made her feel sick. And every day was worse than the last. She wasn't sure how much more she could take. And any time I think about her, I can sort of relate. See, I remember a time when I hated life. It felt like everything was going wrong and that's all I could think about as I lay awake at night. I remember contemplating how to take my life. I mean, ways to die. It would be quick and easy. I wouldn't even say goodbye. See, these are the thoughts that plagued my mind because I didn't know how to deal with all of the heavy thoughts that I was filled with. I was lost. Now, I'm no expert. I'm just a poet, but know this. If you're feeling that same pain today and feeling hopeless, just know that life gets better. Hang in there, stay focused, and know that everything that's happening to you now is making you stronger, and that's what growth is. So when life beats you down with a cold fist, just remember, you have nowhere to go but up. So I know that you feel like death is calling you as it repeats your name, or that cutting yourself feels like loving yourself because it eases pain, but you gotta fight through it. Step right to it, don't retreat from pain. When life gets hard again and you fall again, do not retreat, maintain. You gotta believe that you can make it through. It starts with your mindset and what you make it do. Hurting yourself is never the answer. You only hurt those who love you, those who would do anything for you. And if you don't believe in anything else, anything at all, just believe I'll be praying for you. Thank you.